Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go up to the object selection tool and get yourself a selection of the product. You just want to simply left click and press Control or Command and J. Once you've got yourself a copy of it, you want to do that one more time and get yourself a second copy of that layer. So now that we've got ourselves the two copies, we can hide these ones and we can grab ourselves the design. But before we do that, we need to go onto the background layer and you want to get yourself a new layer above this one. And we're going to go to the shape tool, left click on the screen, drag this out and get yourself a shape. Now with this shape, we're going to set the fill to a red color. And we're also going to right click on here, go to blending options, and you want to get yourself the patterns. The patterns that I'm choosing is the lines. Now, if you'd like to know how to create patterns, it's really simple. I'll have a tutorial on my channel. And the reason for this is because it makes it easier to align this onto the product. You then want to go ahead and press OK. And we're going to minimize this. And the important step here is to right click on this layer and convert this into a smart object. You want to press five on your keyboard to lower the opacity and then press Control and T to be able to scale this down. Now, the first thing we need to do is simply just rotate this, make sure that it is on the correct angle of the product. What you want to do now is you want to right click on here, go down to warp, and you want to go up to the warp and set this one to the cylinder. And what this will do is it will allow you to either make it positive or negative on the warping. So for example, for this image, we need to set it to a positive number for the top one. We're going to drag the edge a little bit more and then a positive for the outside as well. This is going to give it that perspective of what the can is going to look like. And then from here, you can go to the first tool, apply the changes, and we're going to press one on our keyboard to lower the opacity so we can see it a lot better. Now, the next thing to do is to get rid of the edges and we can do this by holding control, left click on the thumbnails for the copied layers and then you want to get yourself a mask on this layer right here. And then you can press zero on your keyboard and set it back to 100%. Once you've set it back to 100%, we can now double left click on here and start to apply the branding onto this design right here. So for example, I created a fake brand called Lemon and Lime. I'm just going to drag and drop this into Photoshop, scale this up and apply it onto the area right here. And then you want to hide the background layer underneath this one. From here, you want to close this down. You then want to click on yes. And there we go. We have now applied it onto the product. However, at the moment, we do need to do some edits. So for example, we need to cut the top bit and the bottom bit. So we're going to once again, press five on our keyboard to lower the opacity. And we're just going to get ourselves the pen tool. And we're going to go all the way up to the top by zooming in. We want to left click on the edge and then you want to left click again and hold it in to curve this line. This will allow us to then hold Alt, left click on here, go all the way around, go back to the very first one, go to selection, get yourself a selection of, let's say two. And then from here, we're going to go onto the mask layer and you want to get yourself the bucket tool, get yourself a black color and fill this in now that you've done that, you want to do the same for the top area as well. We have now corrected the top and bottom. So now if we press zero on our keyboard while selecting this layer, so far we've got ourselves the brand applied onto the product, but we also need to correct the lighting and make it look more realistic. We can achieve this by unhiding the top layer and we can set the first one to either multiply or linear burn. This will bring out the dark areas and create the shadows onto the product. Now at the moment, it's going to be very bright. So we just need to lower the opacity down to something much lower. So let's say for example, 40%. So as you can see, we have applied it onto here. Now, the other thing that we need to make sure is that we clip this onto the layer below for both of these layers. The reason why is because we don't want it to affect the top area. We only want it to affect this middle area. And speaking of lighting, the second one at the bottom, we can set this one to something like, let's say either overlay or set it to something much more different. For example, hard light. This is going to really focus on the lighting of it. 
And once again, we just want to set it to something like, let's say, 30%. You want to also move the other one on top of this one so that the light is on top of the shadows rather than on the bottom. And that is how you create a product mock-up for drinks in Photoshop. If you'd like to see the next video, click on the screen and watch that next one.